Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This video is another part of the previous video with data cleaning and maintenance. If you haven't watched, please check the right corner of your screen for the link. Today's video has information about some more tools that you can use in Microsoft Excel to clean your data. This video will help you understand the use of highlight arrows, blank space, and duplicates. Change text to lower, upper, proper case. Personalize data with the text to column function. Spell check functions to ensure data cleanliness. And delete all existing formats. Reorganize your data. All of these elements work together or help you advance your skills from beginner to advanced in data management. You can find more videos about Microsoft Excel in my channel playlist and check your right corner of the screen. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like and leave comments for any inquiry. Error, blanks and duplicate are common problems in Excel and usually the result of copying and pasting parts of dataset without considering relations and dependencies as you can see there are several arrows and blanks in this table this is a small data set and we can easily spot the error and blanks but if we were dealing with a large one we will need a method that would facilitate the process of finding and highlighting the arrows and blanks so we could easily spot them there are two particular methods we can use to accomplish these tasks. The first one uses conditional formatting. As usual, select the entire dataset, go to Home tab, and select conditional formatting. Then click on New Rule to promote the dialog box. And here, select Format Only Cell that contain. Now, from the drop down below, choose Arrows and click on Format. Go to the Fill tab and select a color that could make the errors more apparent so however trade then click ok until you are back at the table similarly can highlight our blank cell and duplicate also and now we can see that these cells containing errors are already marked with color this could be an excellent method to visually catch errors blank cell and duplicate in our database Now for the second method, first I will undo the first one, ok, now again select the dataset and still at the home tab, select find and select, then go to a special or F5 to go directly. In the dialog box, select formulas, deselect all the options, both arrows and then click ok, and similar way we can did also blanks. We did before we can then replace the text although in this case it's fairly obvious or you can check the previous video how to replace with text so I will just leave it as this choose the conditional format method which is more apparent Unlike other Microsoft Office product, Excel doesn't have a change case button for changing capitalization. However, Excel has three special functions that you can use to change the case of text. They are upper, lower and proper. 
the upper function allows you to convert all lower letters in a text string to uppercase. The lower function helps you exclude capital letters from text. The proper function makes the first letter of each word capitalized and leaves the other letters lowercase. To illustrate how this function works, we prepare a table containing several names written in different ways which is something very common to find many times we receive data that has already been merged or mixed from different sources and we have to reformat it to the standard we may be implementing in a project before it can be considered for integration the lower formula takes one argument either a referential or your typing for this example we will use cell reference in this case a2 click enter we get the name all in lowercase now we can double click on the autofill and the function get applied down next to is uppercase and the process is pretty much the same and the last but not least as it is is the most common acceptable format we can apply the proper formula to format the text this function are ideal to provide consistency across your tables and worksheets which is very important particularly if you will be following a specific style guidelines or governance in your project every once in a while you discover something and know right away that it will improve your life and that's kind of like the feeling I got when I learned about text to columns as its name suggests it is used to split text into multiple columns. To illustrate common uses of this function, we prepare a couple of scenarios. One where we receive the name and last name of customers in the same column and the other a combined addresses that we need to split for marketing intelligence purposes. So let's focus on the first scenario, data includes a comma that separates the name and the last name and that will be helpful as a delimiter to separate the data to a start. Let's select our data. Now let's find text to columns in the data tab. There it is, click on it to open its wizard where we need to follow three steps first in this scenarios our data is separated by commas so we will choose delimited as the best option to describe it go next and step 2 we will select comma as the delimiter depending on our data delimiters you may need to choose other alternatives in your projects under next excel shows use a preview with last names and names separated in columns that looks good so click on next step 3 here we can select the format we want the data on in the case we'll keep it as general if you use text column with numbers or dates you may need to change it so keep an eye on it lastly we need to select the destination so click on the destination selector which is basically where the first cell will appear in our example i will select b2 then click on finish perfect so let's try again in the second scenario where we need to separate the address in three columns data seems to be properly delimited by commas so let's select it and open text to column again same process choose delimited next commas as our delimiters the preview looks correct okay so next now we want our data to stay in general format so we only need to confirm our destination again okay ready and finish 
looks great. Text to column will become one of our main functions to implement particularly when working with large data set. You may have noticed that a spell check is often ignored in Excel, mostly because Excel users tend to focus more in numbers and analytics than in the text itself. However, it is still one of the most important checks you should do for data management as misspelling could cause errors in your analytics. You can find the spelling option in the review tab. Click on it to open the spell check dialog box or you can hit F7 to open it from your keyboard. If you didn't have any specific data selected Excel, we'll go through all the cells in the first row from the left to right, then moving to the second row and so on until done. If it finds a word that could be interpreted as misspelling and mostly because it may not be in its dictionary, it will show you the finding including some possible suggestions. On how to fix it, you can ignore the suggestions or even add the new term. The Excel dictionary so it would won't be identified the same way again in future spell checks. If you have selected a specific range of data before running a spell check, it will concentrate on that range first. It's it definitely not as fancy as the ones you can find in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, but Excel SQL Check does the job, does it well when you use it. Sometimes we get access to data that have gone through many hands with each one adding different changes and formatting across worksheets and tables. When this happens, removing cell formatting may be the best course of actions so we can work with clean fresh data. To removing formatting select the data set or even the whole document and then go to the go to the home tab and on the right side you will find the editing group and in there select clear from the drop down choose clear format when you remove cell formatting in excel it doesn't affect the content of the cell i believe this video helps you understand the use of highlight errors blank space and duplicates change text to lower upper proper case parse or analyze data with the text to column function spell check function and delete all existing format to reorganize your data. Check the right side of your screen for other videos and playlists from my channel. These two videos for data cleaning and maintenance might be helpful to you in data cleaning project. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like and leave comments for any input. Thank you.